Hi everybody. Today I'm going to be off the torch uh, doing a little kiln maintenance. I've been getting an error code on my Bluebird XL. Um, the error code is TCL, which means there's a thermocoupler lag. Um, when I looked the error code up, that's what it said on Paragon's website. So I did some more research and it's actually the relay which is causing the problem. When the relay starts going bad, it's clicking on, you can hear it click, but it's not firing the heating elements. Um, but I can run through the cycle about six times and it will fire eventually. I just need to keep restarting the cycle. At this point it's not too bad, but I was told that it could get stuck in the on or off position. And if I was working and it got stuck on and slumped everything in the kiln, um, it would be a pretty big mess. So I'm not going to wait until anything bad happens. I'm just going to go right in and uh, change this guy out today. So this is the part right here, the Paragon Kiln Part 6355. Uh, this is what the relay looks like. It's got four teeth on this side and then two teeth perpendicular to them on the opposite side. Um, everything I've read said that they're super easy to switch out. Just a screw or two um, on the panel behind my kiln. This is my Bluebird XL. She's in great shape, other than some paint wear on the top there where it gets real hot. Got a kiln mat inside from Acadian Glassworks, I believe. I was able to find the info pretty easily through the community, but I didn't see a lot of like um, videos, I guess, about kiln work. Um, and really, the one thing I wanted to know that I couldn't figure out really easily just by researching was where the relay was and uh like i said we'll be taking off the back apparently it's somewhere behind this guy so it's got a bunch of these little screws in here in the back they're all a quarter inch just take all those things off So here's the kiln open. You're gonna wanna kinda be mindful of as you're getting to your last screw, how you're gonna get this panel to rest. Cause you don't really wanna have, well you don't have too much room to move away from the actual kiln itself cause of how the wiring's all together. But here is your relay. This is the piece I'm gonna be taking out and replacing. Try to do that as carefully as possible. I don't damage any of the wires or the connections. That seems to be the biggest thing to watch out for, is just being careful with everything here. And while I'm in here, I just, there was a bunch of spider webs and stuff. There's still some right there. But I'm going to just clean up everything that I can. All the dust and crap in here. I don't ever want that too much of that to build up. And this kiln at this point is seven years old. So I'll give her a little clean on the inside. Alright, so I wiped out the cobwebs a little bit and unscrewed my relay here and I'm going to now just transfer each of these to my new relay, one by one. And this will help you just so you don't end up pulling accidentally or intentionally on the wire as opposed to the connection. Sometimes it can be on there pretty tight and the wires can pull right out. So these will just help you uh, not do that.
Alright, so this is the old relay. We got the new one in there. So fresh and so clean. And while this was open, I figured it'd be worth checking out some of the other stuff that's in here. Um, obvious to see that the thermocoupler goes right in here. If this ever needs to get changed out, it seems pretty straightforward. Um, and then these guys for your heating elements up in the roof. Um, you know, this has the the later Bluebird XL that has the roof that has the elements enclosed in the roof. So you would have to take this top panel off as well as the back to, to do those. So that's another video for another time. <laughs> so I got this guy in there. I'm going to put these second screw right in here and then throw this guy on and we'll be all finished up. This is a very quick and easy fix. I'm really happy that, you know, these things are cheap. And everything here is really accessible, easy to do yourself. Um, yeah, let's get this thing back together. So now we should be all good to go. I've got her back in its working position. Uh, let's give her a, a plug in and see how it works. She's alive! Might take a couple seconds. <gasps> That's the noise. First try it. All things good in the world. I'm ready to get back to work. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. For, uh, I'm hoping to get some more time lapses done soon. Uh, function videos coming up. So yeah, be on the lookout. If you have any other questions, definitely contact Paragon directly because they have some awesome customer support and we'll be able to answer all your questions. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, everybody.